Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So, what's up in Japan? Recently, in a Jump interview, Kishimoto, the author of manga anime series Naruto, had some very curious words to say about the sequel to his beloved series. He basically made it very clear that he really wouldn't mind if an important Naruto character was killed off. Are we talking important or very important here, Kishimoto? Because there's a difference, and I really need to know which one you're talking about here. Kishimoto is not making the Broto manga himself as he's handed off the series to Ukiyo Kodachi as the writer and Ikemoto as the illustrator. The anime adds on another writer to the team, which is why you see it being paced differently than the manga. But with what we've seen so far, Kishimoto pretty much only does checks for each manga chapter, so he's definitely not as involved as before. And now Kishimoto has announced to the public that he's totally okay if an important character in Boruto actually dies, as long as it happens in a way that develops the characters, and not from something trivial like a stray bullet or an explosion. <clears throat> Gundam iron-blooded orphans? Okay, maybe not a stray bullet, but still. Kishimoto said he also feels that if Boruto wasn't constrained by the weight of the characters from the original series Naruto, Boruto can become even more interesting. He would very much like for Boruto to be done in complete creative freedom without having to worry about what he thinks. Whether or not this is a good thing, only time will tell, but the last time a manga anime series this big was handed off to another creator with complete creative freedom, we got Dragon Ball GT. And we all know how that went. Maybe in another 10 years, we will see Kishimoto come back to write Naruto Super. Haha, <laughs> no. Broto is doing great. In the entire interview, at no point did he imply that he was okay with the series killing off Naruto. But you have to wonder whose death is he priming the audience for? This is not the first time he made implications regarding deaths in Boruto. In an earlier interview this year, he did say that there is a dark turning point coming, even though Boruto's story starts off pretty happy and fun. That dark turning point is obviously related to the scene shown at the beginning of the Broto series, with Kawaki and Broto grown up in a standoff surrounded by a ruined Konoha. Naruto's death is implied there, but there is so far no confirmation that he is actually dead. So who's going to bite the dust first in Boruto? We all know that a ton of important characters died in Naruto, so we should probably expect a similar death toll in Boruto. But they all died in a super memorable way, and possibly the very reason that characters in Naruto feel so much more developed than your typical shonen manga. They're usually the senseis and adults that bite the dust first, so our list is pretty narrow right now with Naruto, Sasuke, Konohamaru, Shino-sensei, and Shikamaru at the forefront. Now if George R.R. Kishimoto gave us a few more clues, I think that would just spoil the whole game for us, so let's make our bets now and just wait and see. Who do you think is going to be the first one to bite it in Boruto? As usual, let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up the video if you liked it, and don't forget to follow Tokyo Source on social media for Japanese culture tweets and video updates. And subscribe to Tokyo Source if you haven't already for the latest things people are talking about in Japan. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.